Okay, this is going to be Charles right now. This is what happens. He has these episodes. And then look. He's literally knocked out. That's what he does. And I've said for some time that I think he's manic depressant. I really do. But they keep blaming a traumatic brain injury. He's been told that this is, um, uh, what do you call it, post-traumatic stress disorder or whatever. PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. I don't know what it is. All I know is this is what I live with. And I just have to watch him, make sure that he doesn't harm himself or anybody else. But this, folks, this is what I deal with when stupid people trigger him. I have been dealing with these episodes since San Diego. And you notice, even in his episode, he brought up San Diego. And as far as Facebook goes, there's a glitch in their live video. Because before I post videos like this, I always select private, meaning only me. But suspiciously, the last three of my visit uh, videos have gone public. So when I did this one, I was very careful about watching. And now there's a two-step process. If he sees me, he'll get upset. Um, but I have to document this for his doctors to understand what's going on with him to understand these behaviors. And I'll download the videos in the car. But what got him turned up first of all is he was complaining about the rose bushes, which I started to trim them today. I didn't get to the other ones but we had discussed before about letting them be a little bit higher so that as people drove by, they could enjoy them. Next thing you knew, he was comparing me to DeVore and saying that if I don't trim them, he'll just whack them all down, which is what he did before. And then, of course, he wanted to tell me about how this is his property. And um, there was something else I was uploading um, the owner guest experience survey, which he told me to get done today, which is what I spent my entire day doing. He told me to finish it up and then he got pressed because he started just skipping every single song. And then I had mentioned that some of those were my favorite. And then after that, he just came unhinged and that's how easy it is. Folks, you live on eggshells with Charles Wallace Hanson, the fourth you never know what kind of mood he's in. You never know if you're going to do or say the wrong thing. I mean, I bust my ass to take care of him. I have no life of my own anymore. I don't ride my horses anymore. I don't take care of me anymore. I'm now a type uh, pre-diabetic, I was told. I used to be the spit of perfect health. I now have problems with my sciatica all the time and uh, severe leg cramps in my sleep. And I know what that is. That is, I'm not taking care of me. Um, but hey, welcome to an individual who has always spent her life doing for others above her own self. And for what? What? Why? Why am I a glutton for punishment? You know, and Charles... When he comes out of these episodes, he'll give you the guilt trip about how, well, I've told you when you're ready to tap out, well, what does that look like, Charles? <laughs> I've reached out to your family. They don't return my messages or my calls. And um, 
who who would take over? So how would that all unfold? So I sit. I take the beating for all the vandalism and all the retaliation. My kids kicked off the baseball team. Um, the Girl Scout fiasco. I take all the hits because Charles insists that it's the right thing to expose all this corruption. And I can't say that I disagree. A lot of this corruption involves ADA violations, exposing ADA violations. Things that I'm advocating on Charles's behalf, I'm taking the hit for. You know, I've lived a peaceful life. I'm 55. <laughs> I've minded my own. But now I seem to be the bad guy. Anyway, I'll be sitting here until he decides to come in. I don't know what that's going to look like. He's refusing to go to the store. Um, the good thing is he's had all of his medications for the night. So now it's just babysit and when in-home supportive services. Uh, wonders why I never check in or check out. Because I've checked in, okay, back in 2021, back in March of 2021, and I've never checked out. Because that's when Charles was first lost, 2021. I've never checked out. Yeah, he's gotten away a few times because he's slick like that. But I've never checked out. I don't know what kind of test I'm being put through in life. But everybody, you know, the old saying, walk a mile in my shoes. I walk around when he gets in episodes having to scoop stuff up so that I can go lock it up out of his reach. He's broken things. So you just have to be prepared. Anyway, I'm going to shut this off for now. <laughs>